Hi everyone, my name is Alex Sampson and my leadership case was on Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, if you do not know, was the New York Yankees shortstop and captain for the last 20 seasons and he just recently retired last year. Now, what is it that makes a leader? A leader is someone who provides a vision, motivates, and brings people together to accomplish the same goal. Accountability can also play in being a leader because that is taking responsibility for your actions. And I feel this is crucial for a leader to have because if a leader tells his or her followers to that they're going to do something and they don't do it, how are those followers supposed to think that they're going to do anything that they say from then on? They have lost respect for their leader and that is terrible for a leader to have. They need to have the respect of their followers. Now Derek Jeter shows great accountability and leadership in many aspects of his life, whether it's his on-the-field performances, his handling the press, or if it's his off-the-field life. When it's on the field, Derek gives 100% effort in everything that he does, whether it's a workout, if it's practice, and games. When he's playing the games, he gives this effort every pitch of every game. And the younger teammates see this kind of effort that he puts forth day in and day out, and they realize that's the kind of effort they need to give if they want to be that great. There's one play that sticks in my mind that shows how much effort that he gave, and that is when there's a pop-up hit in foul territory, and he was from a dead sprint from his position to run and catch this ball, and a step after he caught it, he ran into the wall and it took his legs out and he went flying into the crowd. When he was helped out of the stands, he came up with cuts and bruises all over his face from hitting the seats. Now this shows that he completely put his body out there for the team and he didn't care what would happen to him as long as he caught that ball. And this gains so much respect from your teammates if you're willing to do that and that's crucial for a team and he always was able to put the hard work that he came like that he put in for practice into games he was very clutch he was one of the most clutch players in sports of any sport and it showed in his last at bat of his career he hit a walk-off single to win the game and that basically summed up his career his ability to come through with the big hits and the big moments now he was also a leader when it came to talking to the media New York as you know is a media frenzy there's people constantly looking for stories out there so they want to stretch anything that you say and see if they can make a story out of it. Well, he had this great knack to be able to come out of any interview and be completely clean and always know what to say and the right thing to say at the right moment. He never once talked bad about a teammate or any other player when it came to the media. He would instead of talking down about a teammate he'd bring up his own faults in that game whether it was he made an error or he left runners on base in crucial moments and he'd also say that the New York Yankees lost as a team that night instead of saying that any individual player had more to do with the loss than anybody else he was also a leader when it came to talking to the press after victories as well. He knew that people wanted to talk to him after games, but he would let others have their moments to 
shine in the spotlight before he allowed anybody to talk to him. And this creates great chemistry in a locker room. And chemistry like that is great to have if you want to have a great team. Looking at all the teams that win championships, they're all tight and cohesive in the locker room. Everybody gets along and they put everything aside from outside lives. Once they step in the locker room, they're a team, then they're a family. And there's players that have extended their careers a solid two to three years just on the fact that they're great leaders like this. There's many teams that have a lot of young talent but very little experience and these teams bring in older players that are on the decline with their abilities but they've had a lot of experience in either postseason play or tight games at the end of the season that are very crucial to your team whether or not you're going to make the playoffs or not. And uh, Derek Jeter, he didn't really need that to help extend his career because his abilities were still there at the end of the year. Maybe not as great as in his prime, but he still had very solid numbers at the end of his career. And uh, when it came to his leadership off the field... It was just as great as his leadership on the field. He helped in 1996, his rookie season, he helped set up the stand or the Turn 2 Foundation. And that is his organization that helps kids get away from drug and alcohol addictions and try to adopt a healthier lifestyle. And they reward kids who show high academic achievement and ones who gain healthier lifestyles. In doing so, they have their signature programs where they have Derek Jeter come in and personally talk to the kids and give him his own messages that he has and talk about his personal experiences and how he chooses a healthy lifestyle. And these kids, these kids want to be just like Derek Jeter. Anything that they can do to be more like him, they'll do it. That's eating your fruits or and vegetables or staying off of drugs. They'll do it. And the parents see this and they respect it as well because they want their kids to be healthy. And they want them to do well in school. So they fully support it as well. The community loves it. And he also has other foundations and charities that he supports. It's the uh, Entertainment Industry Foundation, Souls for Souls, and the Stand Up to Cancer Foundation. And it seems like all the causes that he stands for are have to do with the helping the youth, whether it is with poverty, um, getting away from drugs or medical attention anything to do with helping out the youth Derek Jeter is for and this just shows the kind of person that he is and it it's someone that we need more of and a leader like this is what we need in this world and that is my video, and thank you for watching, and let me know what you think.